gorgeous day. Rainbow Dash must have gotten up early for once and cleared all the clouds away. I bet all of Ponyville is going to be out enjoying the sunshine. What? Where is every pony? <gasps> is it some sort of pony holiday? Not that I know of. Does my breath stink? <sighs> not more than usual. Is it zombies? Uh, not very likely. Not likely, but possible? Ponies. Pinky, what are you doing here alone in the dark? I'm not alone in the dark. <gasps> okay, then, what are you all doing here in the dark? We're hiding from her. Adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Did you see her, Twilight? Did you see Zakora? Apple Bloom, I told you never to say that name. Well, I saw her glance this way. Glance evilly this way. And then a bunch of you flip out for no good reason. No good reason? You call protecting your kin no good reason? Why, as soon as my sister saw Zakora riding into town, she started shaking in her little horseshoes. Did not. So I swept her up and brought her here. I walked here myself. For safekeeping. Applejack, I'm not a baby. I can take care of myself. Not from that creepy Zakara. She's mysterious, sinister, and spooky. <gasps> Will you cut that out? Just look at those stripes. So garish. She's a zebra. A what? A zebra. And her stripes aren't a fashion choice rarity. They're what she was born with. <laughs> born where? I've never seen a pony like that in these parts. Except her. Well, she's probably not from here. And she's not a pony. My books say that zebras come from a faraway land. But I've never seen her in Ponyville. Where does she live? That's just it. She lives in the Everfree Forest. <laughs> Sorry. The Everfree Forest just ain't natural. The plants grow. Animals care for themselves. And the clouds move. All on their own. <laughs> and that wicked enchantress Sakura lives there doing her evil stuff. Oh, she's so evil. I even wrote a song about her. Here we go. She's an evil enchantress. She does evil dances. And if you look deep in her eyes, she'll put you in trances. Then what will she do? She'll mix up an evil fruit. Catchy. It's a work in progress. This is all just a lot of gossip and rumors. Now tell me, what exactly have you actually seen Zakora do? Well, once a month, she comes into Ponyville. Ooh. Then she lurks by the stores. Oh, my. And then she digs at the ground. Good gracious. Okay, I'm sorry, but how is any of this bad? Maybe she comes to town to visit. Yeah, maybe she's just trying to be neighborly. And maybe she's not lurking by the stores. Maybe she's going to them, lurk-free, to do some shopping. Yeah, every pony likes to shop. You know what I think? Apple Bloom, hush and let the big ponies talk. I am a big pony. 
What about digging at the ground? You gotta admit, that's weird. What if she's digging for innocent creatures? I'm sure the there's an explanation for everything Zakora does. And if any pony here were actually brave enough to approach her, she would find out the truth. Well, I'm brave enough. I'm gonna find out myself. Well, I heard that Sakura eats hay. Pinky, I eat hay. You eat hay. Yeah, but I heard it's the evil way she eats hay. Hey, where's Apple Bloom? The door's open. She went outside, and Sakura's still out there. Oh, that silly little filly. I told her to stay put. Spike, you stay here in case Apple Bloom comes back. Will do. A joke. Y you keep your creepy mumbo jumbo to yourself, you hear? Yeah. Was that supposed to scare you? We can go and see what man up big things you do. Oh, brother. Beware! Beware! Yeah, back at you, Zakora. You and your lame cursor are the ones who better beware. And you? Why couldn't you just listen to your big sister? Uh, I. Who knows what kind of nasty curse Zakora could have just put on you? Just like in my song! Evil Enchantress with the dances and the trances! You guys, there's no such thing as curses! Well, that's interesting to hear coming from Miss Magic Pants herself. My magic, real magic, comes from within. It's a skill you're born with. Curses are artificial, fake magic. It's conjured with potions and incantations, while smoke and mirrors meant to scare. But curses have no real power. They're just an old ponytail. Just you wait, Twilight. You're gonna learn that some ponytails really are true. She's an evil You wait, Twilight. Some ponytails really are true. Ugh, what a dream. Curses, schmurses. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe Zakora cursed my hair. <laughs> Real reason. Something that points to something real. How about this one? Supernaturals? Spike, the word supernatural refers to things like ghosts and spirits and zombies, which are as make believe as curses. This book is just a bunch of hooey. But what if you're wrong, Twilight? What if this really is a. <laughs> a purse? How could it be a purse? Pinky, what happened? Hey, say it! Don't spray it, Pinky! Oh! She's trying to save out the core. Oh! She slapped us all with a curse. I'm afraid I have to agree. <laughs> I hate to say I told you so, Twilight, but I told you so. <gasps> it's a curse, I tells you. But. Fluttershy seems just fine. 
Yes, there doesn't seem to be a thing wrong with her. Fluttershy? Are you okay? Is there something wrong with you? Would you care to tell us? So, you're not gonna tell us? Yes, you're not, or yes, you will? Good gravy, girl! What's wrong with you? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious! <laughs> Look at all of you! We got Harity, Rainbow Crush, Spitty Pie, Appletini, Flutter Guy, and... Uh... I got nothing. Twilight Sparkle. I mean, seriously, I can't even work with that. <laughs> this is no joke, Spike. Now start looking for more books so I can find a cure. <laughs> I think we'll find the cure to this curse at Zakora's place. It's not a curse. I agree with Dash. We'll go to Zakora's and force her to remove this hex. It's not a hex either. This is all my fault. If I hadn't followed Zakori in the first place, none of this would have happened. I just gotta fix this. Now, where does she think she's going this time? I don't care what you say, Twilight. It's time to pony up and confront Zakora. Come on, girls. Are you with me? I am. And I as well. Oh, I don't know. Seems awfully dangerous. <laughs> How about you, Applejack? Uh, Applejack? She's gone! Ah! Oh, some pony stepped on her! Or sat on her? Where his hair? Oh! Oh, oh Pinky, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, really? Uh, you're in a personal space? Hello? <laughs> Apple Bloom is gone too. I bet they went after Zakora. Well, we better go find them. Come on, girls, let's go. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this is so unseemly. Oh. Hey, a little help here. Oopsie. Sorry. Ow! Uh, Spike, are you coming? Nope. Uh. Gotta stay here and look for a cure. <gasps> Toilet Flopple! Stop right there! <clears throat> Turn around right now, Missy! No! No! You can't ignore a direct order from your big sister! <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, Applejack, but I'm the big sister now. Apple Bloom, you come back here right this instant! I'm gonna tell Big Macintosh on you! Oh, pony feathers. Come on, girls, we've got to get to Zakora's. Hurry! Oh. <laughs> Easier said than done. Hey, wait for me! place really does look horrible. Nice decorations, if you like creepy. <gasps> she stole your soul? Oh, Pinky, doesn't sound anything like your song. She's an evil 
enchantress and she does evil dances. And if you look deep in her eyes, she will put you in trances. Then what would she do? She'll mix up an evil brew. Then she'll gobble you up in a big tasty stew. So, watch out. You saw those terrible things. Now do you believe us, Twilight? Scary looking masks, confusing incantations, and a great big bubbling cauldron? Oh, everything is pointing to Zakora being bad. Or, what if Zakora is just making soup? Mmm, the perfect temperature for ponies, I presume. Now, where is that little apple bloom? Or, what if she's making apple bloom soup? What if she's making apple bloom soup? Ah! Ah! I'm coming for you, apple bloom! Ah! Oh, that is in the wall! My precious brew. We're on to you, Zakora. I didn't want to believe that you cursed us, but the evidence is overwhelming. You made me look ridiculous. You made me sound ridiculous. <laughs> you ruined my horn. How dare you! You destroy my home, destroy my work, then rudely accuse me of being a jerk? You put this curse on us, now you're gonna uncurse us! It is unwise to venture down this road. Your actions will make my anger explode! Where is Apple Bloom? <clears throat> Zakara, I think I found all the things you asked for. What in Ponyville is going on here? <gasps> Apple Bloom, you're okay! Why wouldn't I be? Because Zakara is an evil enchantress who cursed us and was gonna cook you up into soup! <laughs> oh, Twilight, did those silly feelies finally get in your head? You know there's no such thing as a curse. Apple Bloom, sweetie, you can't just stand there and tell me this isn't a curse. This isn't a curse. If you will remember back, the words I spoke were quite exact. Beware, beware, you pony folk. Those leaves of blue are not a joke. It was a warning about that blue plant. It's called Poison Joke. That plant is much like Poison Oak, but its results are like a joke. What in the hay does that mean? It means this plant does not breed wrath. Instead, this plant just wants a laugh. Will some pony please talk normal? I think what she's saying is that when we ran to save Apple Bloom, we ran into the Poison Joke. All our problems are just little jokes that played on us. Little jokes? Very funny. Okay, fine. But what about the cauldron? And the chanting? And the creepy decor. Treasures of the native land where I am from. This one speaks hello. And this welcome. Not welcoming at all, if you ask me. The words I chanted were from olden times. Something you call a nursery rhyme. But the cauldron? The apple bloom soup? Looky here, Twilight. That pot of water wasn't for me. It was for all these herbal ingredients. The cure for poison joke is a simple old natural remedy. You just gotta take a bubble bath. But I tried to find a cure in all my books and couldn't find anything. What book has this natural remedy? Here is the book, you see? Sad that you lack it in your library. Actually, I do have this book. But I didn't look inside because the title was so... Weird. Supernaturals. Natural remedies and cure-alls that are simply super. I... I... I'm so sorry, Zakora. I had the answer the whole time. If only I'd bothered to look inside. <laughs> Maybe next time you will take a second look and not judge the cover of the book. <laughs> Sakura, would you be kind enough to mix up another batch of the herbal bath? 
Mix it up, I certainly will. Yet I am missing an herb from Ponyville. But whenever Zakora comes to town, all the shops are mysteriously closed. Oh, well, I think we can help you with that. Look, Rose, how awful! The wicked enchantress has cursed them all! The horror! The Daisy, we need to talk. Dear Princess Celestia, my friends and I all learned an important lesson this week. Never judge a book by its cover. Someone may look unusual or funny or scary, but you have to look past that and learn who they are inside. Real friends don't care what your cover is. It's the contents of a pony that count. And a good friend, like a good book, is something that will last forever. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Miss Sakura, I would love to get the recipe for this bath. It's simply luxurious. Applejack! Hey, where's Applejack? I'm right here, little sis. I ain't tiny no more. Oh, I have never felt so lovely in all my life. Oh my gosh, I never realized how horrible it is not to be able to talk. I mean, I love talking so much, and when I couldn't talk anymore, my tongue was all... Don't you agree, Fluttershy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>Is this thing on? Pub Saturday mashup, Crack Up. Geronimo! With back-to-back -back episodes of your favorite hub hilarious shows. Pub Saturday mornings are pure pandemonium. Now that's a Saturday morning. Crack Up. Saturday starting at 6 a.m. Eastern, 3 Pacific, only on The Hub.